I am Anil Kumar. Let me thank all the members of our Free Math Solutions WhatsApp group for providing excellent questions and brilliant solutions. Here is an amazing example which I like to share with you. The question posted by one of our subscriber is shown here which I have uh, copied here and we are going to provide the solution with full explanation now. Now the solution was also provided by, brilliantly by one of our very active member Mr. Narad. And now let us see how to really solve this type of question in details. So let me thank both the ones who have provided us with the question and also Mr. Narad for providing the solution. The question was the graph of f of x is equal to 4x plus b and g of x is equal to x cubed minus 2x square plus kx plus 12 as shown below. The line f of x is tangent to g of x at a point p which is 3p and it also intersects the graph at a point q. Find the coordinates of point q. That's a brilliant question and it involves a lot of concepts to deal with. You can always pause the video, try it out, and then look into my suggestions. Now, once we know that this line is tangent, then at this point, the derivative of the function gives you the tangent, and the slope of the tangent should be 4, right? Since the line tangent is with the equation 4x plus b. So, I'll begin from here, right? So, we're given the function g of x which is equal to x cube minus 2x square plus kx plus 12. See, there are a lot of unknowns. In the polynomial k is unknown. In the equation of the line b is unknown. The point p, p is unknown. And then point q, which we need to find, right? So the derivative of this can be written as 3x square minus 4x plus k. Now at x equals to 3, the slope is same, right, as that of the tangent line, right? So g dash at 3 should be equal to 4, right? So it should be equal to 4. So we'll substitute 3 here. So we'll get 3 times 3 square minus 4 times 3 plus k. So that helps you to find the value of k. So bringing all these terms to the left side, we get 4, 3 squared times 3 is 27, so minus 27, plus 4 times 3 is 12, that should be the value of k, right? So which is 4 plus 12 is 16, when you take away 16 from 27, well, minus 11 is the value of k. So we get the value of k as minus 11. Now, since we know that the value of k is minus 11, we can actually uh, find this point also, right? So, we have the function g of x as equal to x cubed minus 2x squared minus 11x plus 12, right? So, that is the value of k substituted in the function itself. Now, once we know g of x, we can always find the value of this point p, right, lowercase p, by substituting x as 3. So, from here, we can now get into the second part, which is uh, g of 3 is actually equal to p, right? So, if I substitute 3 here, what do I get? I get 3 cubed minus 2 times 3 square minus 11 times 3 plus 12. So let's calculate this value, which gives you the value for p. So which is 27 minus 9 times 2, which is 18, minus 33 plus 12. And that is minus 12. So this value here, so we get the value of p as minus 12. So the point here is, we can write this as 3 minus 12, correct? So we know this point. Now this point is common 
to both tangent line and the function. Correct? So at this value of 3, the y value is minus 12. That should help us to find the value of b. Right? So let's get back to the equation of this tangent line. So at 3, that is f of 3, the value should be minus 12. Correct? So when I substitute 3 here, I get 4 times 3 plus b. Now from here, we can find what is b. So minus 12, taking this on this side, we get the value of b as equal to minus 24, correct? So we get the value of b as minus 24. So now we have our equation and uh, both the equations are clear to us. We have g of x is equal to x cube minus 2x square minus 11x plus 12 and f of x is equal to 4x minus 24. Correct? So we have found all these unknowns b, k and p. Now we need to find this point q which is on the intersection of both these graphs. That means we have to write g of x equal to f of x. So let's solve for this. We have x cube minus 2x square minus 11x plus 12 should be equal to 4x minus 24. Bring all the terms together, we get x cube minus 2x square minus 11x and minus 4x becomes minus 15x. And bringing this, we get plus 36 equals to 0. Clear? Now it is important to note that one of the solutions is definitely this point which is x equals to 3. Correct. So that means x minus 3 is a factor. right? So we could actually divide this by x minus 3 and then we'll get a quadratic function to figure out the point Q. So we can divide our equation which is x cubed you could do synthetic division or uh, long division. So we'll do long division at present. Plus 36. We are going to divide by x minus 3. If I substitute 3 here, in that case definitely we'll get 0 since it is a point on the intersection of both the curves, right? Okay. So it goes uh, x squared times we get x cubed minus 3x square. So that gives you x square minus 15x. Then we have plus x. We get x square minus 3x. And that gives you minus 12x plus 36. And that is minus 12 times. We get minus 12x plus 36. Remainder 0 as expected. So that means the other factor is x squared minus x minus 12, correct? So, so this equation could be written as x minus 3 times x squared minus x minus 12, right, equal to 0. So from here, we come down to this place. Now we could easily factor this. 4 times 3 is 12, and 4 should be negative, so we get this as since we have, uh, sorry, this is plus x. This is plus x, right? So, so 4 should be positive. So we have x minus 3 times x plus 4 times x minus 3 equals to 0. So another value which satisfies this equation is x equal to minus 4, clear. So at q, the value of x is minus 4. And that is kind of evident from the graph also. We can always find the y value by substituting this value in the equation of the line, right? Since it happens to be on both the curves. So the y value will be equal to 4 times minus 4. And the value of b is minus 24. So that is uh, minus 16 minus 24, right? So... So 6 and 4, so negative, 6 and 4 is 10, and 2 and 2, 40. 
So we get this point as minus 4 minus 40, right? Is that clear to you? So we can find our answer and that is the point Q is minus 4 minus 40. You see that? So that is how this question can be solved. So it involves a lot of intricacies and concepts to provide a solution like this. I'm really amazed the way the solution has been provided by a member of the WhatsApp group uh, in very simple fashion right there. Perfect. So let me thank once again all the members of this group for posting brilliant questions and also providing such beautiful answers. So I'm sharing this with all of you here on the YouTube channel and requesting you to join us contribute by providing brilliant questions and solutions. A link for the same will be provided to you. Thanks for your time and all the best.